with our opening selection, uh, being in laws, if you will, come with a prayer afterward for today. And Mother Jameson, give us a scripture reading for this morning. All right, say amen for the praise team. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. Young people, stop what you're doing and clap your hands for Jesus. We must realize that he didn't come here on our own and on our own. We didn't come here by chance, and by, but we came here because God has ordained that we be here today. Yes. And you, we, we need to understand that we don't have to leave here the same way we came, but we can leave here blessed. We can leave here saved. We can leave here delivered. So let's put our hands together as we praise and magnify the name of the Lord. Please rest on your feet as we sing the simple song, Blessed Be the Name of the Lord. <laughs>
another day. Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning. Lord, you woke us up and closed us in our right mind, God. God, you gave us activity of our will, God. So, Lord, we lift our hands to you, God. And we want to just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, come on in this place, God. Lord, we need a touch today, God. We need an outpour of your spirit today, God. Oh, thank you for this place today, God. Let your glow rest in this place today, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In all parts of the service, God. You are anointed blessing, God. In the name of Jesus. Send on your anointing, God. The anointing that breaks yokes, God. In the name of Jesus, God. We need you right now, God. Like never before, God. God, you gave a plan for our lives. The young people, God. You gave a plan for them. Out the old, the, the saints, God. You gave a plan, God. But God, we can't enjoy that plan unless we're in your will, God. Unless we give our life to you, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you give us the, the Holy Spirit, God. To direct us, God. Even for that plan that you have given us, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We give up to you, God. We lift our hands to you, God. We surrender our life today, God. God, we put it in your hands, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you today. We love that way, God. In the name of Jesus. We want to walk in your way, God. We want you to be pleased with us, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, bless our pastor today, God. Anoint him today, God, for this great test, God. To minister to your people, God. To give us the word that you have given him, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Word to give hope today, God. Word to, to break yoke today, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we have your way here, God. Have your way with our mothers today, God. Have your way with the deacons, God. With our pastors, uh, missionaries, God. In the name of Jesus. Have your way, God, with the young people today, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we need you like that would be poor, God. Oh, this is a trying time, God. A troubling day, God. But God, we know that you are still in charge. In the name of Jesus. Oh, have your way with those that are sick today, God. Oh, speak a word, God. Strengthen their body today, God. In the name of Jesus. In Mother Laws, God, touch her body, God. In the name of Jesus, she needs you right now, God. In the name of you, you are able, God. You are able, God. You are able to restore, God. You are able to give a healing, God. And bless those children of hers, God. In the name of Jesus, they're so concerned today, God. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, she needs our help today. But oh God, you have to influence her, God, today. In the name, speak to her, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, there are others that are sick today, God, that we might not know about, God. But God, you are able, God. Whoever that is, you already know, God. In the name of Jesus. Touch them, oh God. Touch them, God. Give them hope today. Let them tell them to live on. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your ministry. Let them bless you, God. And we pray, give you praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Remain standing, if you will, for the reading of God's word. St. John, the 14th chapter, beginning with the first verse. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Yes. And where I am, there you may be also. And whether I go, you know, and the way you know. 14 first through the four first. Amen. Amen. Say amen, everybody. Amen. Come on and say amen. amen. Why don't you lift your hand and shout hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Help me shout hallelujah. Help me. Help me, Lord. Help me. Help me, Lord. Help me. Help me, Lord. Help me. 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 Help me.
need your help. Oh, Jesus. I put it in your hand. And I'm looking to for you to pray me out. I'm looking to you to heal my body. I'm looking to you to solve my crisis. I put it all in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a praise here. Because I feel that the, the Holy Ghost is moving in this place right now. If you can receive that word, the Lord told me to tell you to praise him for your deliverance. To praise him for your breakthrough. To praise him for your healing. Because I put in his hand. Praise him right now. Come on, praise him. to the Lord himself because the scripture lets us know that the tithes belong to God. Amen. As a matter of fact, all that you think you have or own, God said that the silver and gold belong to him. Now that would include your greenback, whatever else you use to transact business, it belongs to God. But he is so merciful, he is so kind that he allow us to use what he has made. He allow us to use it for our own benefit and for us to make it in this world. The Bible said that money, money has for all purposes. So in this life, you need, you need a few dollars to try to survive, don't you? Amen? Amen? But God is so kind and so good that he has blessed us, amen, to have something to live in this life and we ought to let him know we appreciate him for what he has done. Amen. We're still paying these high utility bills. Yes, Lord. Am I right about it? Yes. High gas that got put in the car. And oh my goodness, the food we like it will never drop again. The price as we have seen. But the Lord has enabled us to take care of our needs and even to have some of our desires. All right, if you will, I'm sure as I was talking that you will make the preparations to give. Let's stand together as we're gonna pray God's blessing on the offering. Come on, let's stand in respect to the prayer of our offering. And after, afterwards, the urchins are gonna come down the center aisle to receive the offerings uh, that those of who are given traditionally 
payments, the greenbacks and checks. They probably have it on the screen how you can do electronically. I think over half of the congregation is doing electronically. That's good. That's good. However you should give, it is very much appreciated. Dear God, we thank you. We give you praise and glory and honor. Thank you for today. Thank you for this opportunity to share in this ministry. I pray, God, that you will bless every giver that will extend their hand to you. God, as they give today, I pray, God, that you will open the windows of heaven and pour out the blessings that are needed and even some that are desired. We believe that as we give, God, that you're going to give back to us more that we'll be given unto you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You, you may be seated. You may be seated. They're going to come down the center aisle. Down the center aisle. church across northern Mississippi. And the second award that's coming from the women's department is from it is for Mother Jenny Allen. Of course she is not here today, but we celebrate her well. I'm going to give it to her granddaughter that she can give it to her. Let her know where it came from. It came from our Jurisdictional women's involved. Come on, let's celebrate them again. These seasoned mothers. Amen. Amen. Here at Lily of the Valley. I want you to know we appreciate you. The, the, the uh, longevity, the number of years that they have served. And listen, uh, for some of you who have not been at Lily of the Valley, uh, maybe as long as the rest of us. These mothers, amen, when they were young, when they've gotten up in age, have a few health issues, they were here for everything. I mean, they were part of everything that went on at this church. That's right. 
And of course, they've gotten in their golden years and we're here to support them. Amen. And let them know that we love them and that we treasure them. And we're so happy for them. Give them another hand to you. All right, the praise team is coming. Say amen. amen. The songwriter declared, I love you, Jesus, more than anything. If that's your testimony, come on, stand to your feet. As we sing this simple song, and the words are so very powerful. There are some words I just can't sing without being touched.
of worship again to be among your people and to be in your presence i pray now god as i stand at this sacred desk again give us words from heaven to become to enlighten to encourage and lord to even cause someone to be saved we thank you god and we give you praises and glory in jesus name amen give god another hand for you. the lord bless you the Lord keep you. We are grateful for the blessings of the Lord. Didn't you all enjoy this praise team and these musicians today? Amen. Thank God for the ministry of music. Amen. We are thankful for them and we're grateful for all of you who are in the house of the Lord on today. God bless Deacon Laws on today and uh, our first lady, Missionary Riley, to our missionaries. So glad to see Mr. Wilbur today. Mr. Sharon Williams. These mothers, God bless. Mother Barbara Laws is here. Amen. Amen. And Mother Jameson. And to all of the people of the Lord, uh, we do have guests that are with us on today. And uh, we're so glad to have you, you that are visiting some. Uh, maybe that first time, we're happy to have you. I'm glad to see uh, Ms. Weatherwall on today. Amen. She's worked with us um, there in Greenville High, and now she's still uh, working there in the state of Arkansas with my wife. So she's here today. And to others, I don't know your name, but we're glad to have you. Amen. Glad for this brother here again and his wife. Say amen for them. And 
we're just glad to be here one more time. I want to read one verse, one verse, and it's very familiar. A verse from Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Let's stand for the reading of the word. We'll have to stand long because it's one verse. They probably have it on the screen by now. In the book of Acts, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, Jesus said, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. I want to share with you uh, from this subject, divine moment, a pattern of the Holy Ghost in action. Divine moment, a pattern of the Holy Ghost in action. Well, you may be wondering what do I mean and what's the meaning of this subject. Divine, we know, is spiritual or that it comes from above, it comes from God. And so the subject, if you don't remember the full subject, and I try not to have any real long subjects, amen. If you don't remember all, just remember the first part, divine moment, amen. That, that would be what? A movement by the divine. A movement by God. And in particular, we want to look at the third person of the, of the triune God, a movement by the Holy Ghost. Why don't everybody say amen? amen. Come on, everybody, say amen. amen. I chose this subject as I began to think about what our world really needs. Our world today, as you know, it seemingly is in total chaos. There is darkness. And I speak of this symbolically. Well, if you want to apply it spiritually, there is darkness that's all over the land. Come on, y'all. Y'all say amen. amen. Now, uh, some of you all, uh, just about all of you all witnessed the fight that took place over there in Alabama the other week. Now everybody want to buy a folding chair. <laughs> Saw that all online, the news, and everywhere else. And I told my wife, I said, we as the saints and the people of God, we better be careful with that. And, and what I mean by, by that is, basically the black community, most people were, were proud that people stood up and, and fought against what seemed, to, which seemed to be racism, it seemed to be racially motivated, and of course, we know there's been some issues, there's been some problems. But listen, saying, as the people of the Lord, let's not take pleasure and joy in violence. Amen. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Now, I want you to look at uh, what transpired and what to, took on. And yes, justice needs to be served. The people who started, yes, they need to go for a judge. And, that they need to be punished for what they did. But you have to remember that the word of the Lord, what God himself said, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. And so if we are the people of God, then we need to have the spirit of God to reside in us. Somebody say amen. amen. Come on, everybody, say amen. amen. And so I, I picked that incident because that's one incident among many that showed the darkness that's upon the face of this nation. Yes, racism, it is darkness. The violent acts, darkness. The political chaos that we have now, where the Democrats are against the Republicans. It seems like they cannot come together on, on many matters at all. They, they're constant bickering and pointing the fingers. And uh, you, you know, Mr. Trump now has three indictments on his way to the fourth indictment. And, and 
possibly uh, many folks in our race are rejoicing. But then Joe Biden on the other side, darkness, because some of the same thing that Trump has been accused, Biden has been accused of. So you, you might as well know that after a while there's probably going to be some hearings and some indictments all the way. It may come later on. But I brought that up to show you that we, we are facing an election in about a year. And we really don't know who to vote for. Y'all might have made your mind up. But I, I got some issue with both of them. Amen. Say amen, y'all. Amen. Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. So we are, we are facing all of these calamities. We, we, listen, listen. I, I keep telling y'all, we could be on the verge of another war. We very well we could be going into World War III. You look at what is going on in Ukraine and Russia, they're not talking about that as much right now. But Ukraine is getting some of the benefits of NATO. That's the treaty organization that, that the United States is a part of with about 12 to 13 nations. And in, the, in that treaty, if you attack one of those nations, all of them are supposed to come to their defense. Well, Ukraine is not a member yet, but they're getting the benefits of NATO. And Mr. Putin over there with Russia has already given some warnings about what he would do if the United States and others get involved. What I'm trying to tell you, we could be facing a nuclear war. It could happen in the next few days, next few months, or next year. We are in trouble. You ought to be saying amen to that. I said we are in trouble. And so we need God's help. I had y'all singing earlier the song, Help Me Lord. Because America needs help. And then you individually need help. Why don't you lift your hands just to just say, Help me, Lord? Come on again, just tell them, Help me, Lord. Now, the people in the early church in the book of Acts understood the fact that they needed help. And they knew where to get this help. And, and, and listen, as they began to seek God, uh, as Jesus told them, uh, that, 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 that number 120 who were in the upper room on the day of Pentecost. They sought the Lord. And God gave them a helper. A comforter. That we normally call the Holy Ghost. Or the Holy Spirit. You also find the scripture referred to him as just the Spirit. Or the Spirit of Christ. The Spirit of the Lord. All of those names. Because the Holy Ghost is such a great person. To one name cannot really show really who he is. Somebody say amen. amen. They understood this and so as they received the Holy Ghost, the baptism in the Holy Ghost, because of this they had great power. Somebody say power. power. That power to heal the sick, to cast out demons. They are demons or devils yes. that need to be cast out. Ain't nobody saying that here. And there are some spirits, amen, some demons that need to be cast out today. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Uh, people are possessed. Amen. And then there are others who are oppressed. And then there are those who are greatly influenced. Amen. Say amen, everybody. Amen. And I know there are a lot of people that are greatly influenced. And I know there's some who are oppressed and there are a few who are possessed. The devil needs to be cast out. So they cast out demons. They Listen, they raise the dead. They testify to the reality of who Jesus was and is who had baptized them with the Holy Ghost. And as a result, darkness was driven back and the gospel was established in the hearts of those who had been formerly gripped by darkness. What I'm trying to illustrate in this message, I'm not going to be able to finish, I already know that, but let me say this, what I'm trying to illustrate in this message, God needs believers who are willing 
to let God have his way in their lives. Amen. Willing to go forth, amen, on the field and spread the gospel. Willing to be prayer warriors. Those that would seek the Lord for direction and guidance and seek him for this Holy Ghost power. Somebody say amen. amen. Because there are a lot of people who are, what, in darkness. And if we would see him and let God have his way, the miracles that we read about in scriptures, miracles that we hear that even happened yesterday years of the church, and even, uh, I'm speaking of the, the early 1900s, the mid 1900s, and, and, and even somewhat in the later 1900s, some things that we don't see as much. Now God is yet a miracle work of God. He's still working miracles today. But what I want to tell you is this, that he wants to have these miracles to a greater extent. Because darkness needs to be pulled back. Just as I was telling you the other Sunday, uh, my, my, my cousin is, is the pastor of the church. They were in Sunday school, and the man ran to the church. And I don't remember the exact word, but what did he say? He was telling him, I need help. I, 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 I want to be delivered, is what he was really saying. And they said, well, just wait, brother. They thought he would sit down. Uh, there while they were discussing the Sunday school lesson and he got stirred up again and then I need help. I, I need something here. I need deliver. And listen, this man had been drinking before he had come in. When they got the pastor to come out and the saints gathered around him and prayed and rebuked that devil and so forth, they, they, told, they, tell, they told me that they literally saw that man's expression change. They literally saw him sobering up from the liquor that he had been drinking. God is a wonderful God. God is a miracle working God. We need that kind of power in the church, you all. I had a family member of mine some years ago uh, when he was uh, there in Jackson, someone invited him to go to church on a Friday night. Back then, the Church of God in Christ, all churches of the Church of God in Christ had Friday night services, and it was great service. They invited him to go to church. He said he just went to church because he was tired of his friend or his classmate begging him to go to church. He went to church, you all, with the marijuana cigarettes in his back pocket because he said, I know church going to be over but at least by 9 o'clock tonight. And, and, and uh, the party ain't even started. You know, they don't start partying about 10, 11, 12. He had in mind of going to the party, and he was going to get high and do all the other devilment that, that they were to get in that night. He said that when he went to church, he found himself on the altar. He, he remember how he got to the altar. When they, they called for prayer, he found himself at the altar. I want you to know that he never made it to the party. God saved him that night. Threw the cigarettes, the marijuana cigarettes away. And then God called him into the ministry. You can't tell me what God won't do. God is an all-powerful God. And listen, he wants you even today right here at Living of the Valley. He wants a divine moment right here. You ought to lift your hand and say, Lord, let it be me. Come on and say, Lord, let it be me. Lord, let it be me. But when we look at the church, and let me let me hurry along here and speed it up a little bit. When we look at the church today, is today's church operating within a move of the Holy Ghost? That great author, and I have a few of his books, A.W. Tozer, said a few years ago, if the Holy Spirit was withdrawn from the church of today, 95% of what we do, amen, would go on and no one would know the difference. Did y'all hear that statement? He believed that in the church, 95%, if the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost was withdrawn, that 95% of the church would just keep on going and no one would know the difference. But he said in that book, he said in the early church, if that had happened, they would have known immediately. And they probably would have stopped and made a change 
asking the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit to come back and to work within the church again. Yeah. How important is this? I got another story I want to tell you. Because I, I was so impressed when I, I, I listened to the radio and, and this preacher spoke about a missionary who was on a train. And she sat next to a preacher. How did she know he was a preacher meeting? Well, he had his clergyman attire on, the black shirt with the white band around, had his cross on. So she sat next to him, and she asked the preacher this question, have you been born again? And look what she asked, have you been born again? Now you would think the preacher in his clergy attire, certainly he's been born again, born again mean to be saved. We don't say amen. And the preacher replied, well, I'm a bishop. I have a large congregation. Now, these might not be the exact word, but this is the meaning. I have a large congregation. He, and he goes on to tell her how many churches were under his administration. And he probably told her how long he had been preaching. The missionary looked at him and said, sir, I didn't ask you that. I want to know, have you been born again? And here's the point. The preacher could not attest. Or he could not say that he was born again, meaning that he was not saved. But thank God, he received the message from this missionary, and the Lord saved him. You see, that is a divine moment, you all. Because most of us, if it had been us, we probably never would have asked the preacher in his clergyman time, have you been born again? But I believe this woman, Amen. Was moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. It was a divine moment that caused this man who should have been saved, caused him to come to Christ. And oh, if we would just ask the Holy Ghost to lead us and guide us, to make us efficient workers in the kingdom, we can have a divine moment in our home, family members, folks we work with, Amen. Folks that are out in the mall and other places. God wants you to have these divine moments. Can you say amen? amen? When we have a divine moment that comes by the way of the Holy Ghost, it will change the condition of this world. It will change, amen, the condition of individual lives. When I think about in the very beginning of the Bible, I think about it in the book of Genesis, where it gives you the creation story. And y'all know verse 1 that says, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And then verse 2 says, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. When you read Genesis chapter 1, you will see that the earth from verse 2 down was in utter chaos. Amen. The, the Bible talks about how the firmament, that, that would be the clouds, they were all the way down to the surface of the earth. There was no sunlight. Could not, the sunlight could not pierce or get through the cloud. So there was total darkness. It was cold. On earth. Not only was there darkness at the, and, and, and you had the clouds near the surface of the earth, but the water and land was what? It was all mixed in together. And what did God do? He spoke and said, let there be light. And there was light. Amen. Amen. The Bible said that he took the firmament and he moved it up and he put the clouds back in the sky where they belong. Somebody say amen. He separated the waters from the land. The waters will became will be called seas, and the dry land was called earth. Amen. All of that took place. You know why? Because when you look at verse 2, notice what the Bible says in verse 2. And the Spirit of God, that's the Holy Ghost. Amen. Begin to do what? Begin to move upon the face of the water. The Holy Ghost. When you think about the word move. It, 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 it describes even like a, a bird that's got its feathers and the feathers are, are flatter. Or you think about a helicopter. 
because uh, the word woo means to hum over. You think about when a helicopter goes and it hums over water, the waters begin to do what? Begin to spread. Am I right about that? And many try to use helicopters even as a way of rescuing people. Think about the Holy Ghost. Somebody say the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. As he moved upon the face of the deep. Hallelujah. As he began to move upon the face of the deep, he began to restore order. Yeah. I said he began to restore order yeah. on the face of the deep. Amen. God the Father gave the command. God the Son, who was the second person attacked, he was there. But it was the Holy Ghost that moved yeah. and was the agent that worked in the restoration of this earth. Somebody say amen. And why did I say there's a, a restoration of the earth? I want you to know, and some of you heard me teach this in Bible study, that we believe something happened drastically between verse 1 and verse 2. You know, verse 1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. But then in verse 2, you go back, and the earth was what? It was void. It was without form. Something happened there. Somebody to say amen. And I, I, I know that something happened there because when you read in Isaiah 45 and 18, the Lord said this. Well, let me read that verse. For thus said the Lord that created the heavens and God himself that formed the earth and made it. He established it. He created it. He created it not in vain. Come on, help me say not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is none. And that verse let me know that when God first created the earth, he created it perfectly. Do you all hear what I'm saying? But something happened. And what happened? Sin happened. I'm not talking about Adam and Eve at the time, but the fact that Lucifer, the devil, he decided, I'm going to exalt my throne above the stars of God. I'm going to be like the Most High. That's in the book of Isaiah. And the Bible lets us know that in his rebellion, he called a third part of the angels to rebel with him. Say amen, somebody. Amen. And because there was some things that were going seen the down here on earth, when sin enters the picture, it disturbs everything. Say amen, everybody. Amen. As one preacher said, the earth became like a garbage dump because of what Satan had done. Well, friend, let, let me hurry on, but let me say this to you. Just as the devil was working then, he's working now. Come on, say amen, everybody. Amen. Satan came on the scene then and brought trouble that led to chaos, that led to the darkness and all this stuff that was mixed up and messed up. He's doing the same thing now. How many of you all know that Satan is yet a troublemaker? Amen. amen. Come on, say amen. amen. Jesus said that he was a murderer from the beginning. Jesus said in John 10, 10, he, he called the devil a thief a murderer, and a destroyer. And that's exactly what Satan or the devil is doing now. He is destroying many lives of the people. Say amen, everybody. Amen. But oh, if people would just accept a divine moment, yeah. what a better life yeah. they could have. Yeah. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Has anybody out here ever experienced that divine moment? Do you know that the Lord turned you around? Do you know that the Lord took you out of sin and sin and placed you on a solid rock? Thank you, Jesus. Can you testify to the fact that your darkness flee or it left? Amen. And you walk into the light. Thank God for what he's done. We don't tell him thank you. Come on and help me tell him thank you. If you would just accept, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to move on here, but if you would just accept this divine moment, if you would accept what the Holy Ghost wants to do in your life, things would change immediately. So knowing that, why would you be so stubborn? Why be hard-headed and rebellious to reject the move of the Holy Ghost? Amen. That's trying to give you peace mean that you're really getting ready to walk into more darkness. You're getting ready to experience more chaos. 
But oh, if you would just allow the Lord, and what you got to understand, what you must understand, that in the book of Acts, I haven't even got to some of the illustrations I want to use, and I probably won't get there today. But in the book of Acts, we see an illustration of the power of God, how people were saved, how people were healed, how people were delivered. You find that, you, you find that these people were willing to accept what God had for them. They were willing to let the Holy Ghost have charge. They were willing to follow after the Lord. They were willing to give their hearts and their lives to the Lord. And because they did so, they had a peace that the world could not give them. Joy bubbled up on the inside of their bellies and overflowed like a river. They had love, amen, they could not experience anywhere else. Some of you right now, you're mixed up, you're messed up, you're being tormented by the devil. You don't know where, you, where you're going to go, amen, the next day. Hallelujah, crying in the midnight hour. Somebody cried last night. Come on, somebody. Somebody was weeping last night. Amen. You don't know what steps to make. In turmoil, in chaos. But the Holy Ghost is trying to give you a divine moment right now. He wants to give you a release. He wants to deliver you. He wants to bring you out of darkness into this marvelous light. He wants to give you joy. Oh, praise God. He wants to give you folks that, that are looking for love in all the wrong places. He wants to give you love. He's trying to change you from the inside out. Oh, if you would just accept it. Oh, if you would just surrender. Things would turn around in your life. Somebody ought to say praise the Lord. Somebody ought to say praise the Lord. But oh, saints of God. The Holy Ghost wants to use you as a vessel. I told y'all a few months ago, if you're wondering why I keep going to seem to the same thing, the Lord told me to preach about three things for a while. That is the Holy Ghost, prayer, and evangelism. In this message, I'm really covering all three. Because the Lord told me to tell you that you are to be an ambassador. You are to be a disciple of the day. You're supposed to be the modern day evangelist that will help the world to see that they need Jesus. Why don't you say amen? Come on and say amen. Oh, when you look at Jesus, Jesus is our prime example of what, what we ought to be doing today. You remember when Jesus got to about the age of 30, he found John the Baptist out there baptizing the folks in the river Jordan. And he told John to baptize him as well. And John said, oh no, I don't need to baptize you. I told the folks that you were going to baptize them in the Holy Ghost. But Jesus told him, let it be so. And when he went in the water, Amen. It came out. The Spirit of God descended upon him as a dove. You might say, why, why is that so, Pastor? Isn't he the Son of God? And yes, he is, and he was then. But you must understand that when he came and was born of the Virgin Mary, he was 100% God and 100% man at the same time. And he chose to operate as a man to be our example. And because he operated as a man, he allowed, amen, the Holy Ghost to fill him as he was being baptized in the water. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. But as a result of him receiving and being baptized with the Holy Ghost, the Bible lets us know in Acts 
chapter 10 and verse 38 that it was God speaking of God the Father who anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. Help me say Holy Ghost. That scripture said with the Holy Ghost and with power. Help me say power. Who went about doing good and hitting all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Jesus was our example and he was letting us know that if I had to be willing to receive the Holy Ghost if I am your example for you to follow after he wants you to know that you need this power you need to seek for the power of the Holy Ghost you need to speak you need to seek for his infilling you need to seek for the Holy Ghost and power. Why don't you tell God thank you. Come on and tell God thank you. I'm going to be finishing just a few more minutes. But I want y'all to know the apostles saw. They walked with Jesus. They saw what the Holy Ghost did in his life. And even when Jesus was getting ready to be, to get ready to be ascended or getting ready to go back into glory. He told them to wait in Jerusalem. Wait and tarry for the Holy Ghost. And that's exactly what the disciples did. They duplicated what Jesus had done. And what Jesus wanted them to do. They saw Jesus casting out devils. And healing the sick. Throughout the book of Acts. They did the same thing. Let me say same thing. I say they did the same thing. They went about healing the sick. They went about preaching the gospel. They went about, amen, casting out devils. For when you read in Acts chapter 3, the Bible says that Peter and John, at the hour of prayer, they found a man that was lame from birth. Amen. He was there at the temple. And that brother cried out to Peter and John and asked them for some money because he needed help. He needed a financial blessing. But Peter looked at the man and said, Silver and gold have I none. But I want to see you that what I have I'm going to give to you. He commanded the man in the name of Jesus to rise up and walk. The Bible is for those that Immediately, this lame man who had been lame since he was born, he jumped up, he went walking and leaping because there was a divine moment that brought about healing to his physical body. Oh, church, the Holy Ghost is yet here to heal the sick. He's able to heal you from your infirmities. He can heal you from cancers. High blood pressure. Come on and tell him thank you. He's a healer. And the Holy Ghost wants to use you as a vessel for such a time as this right now. He want to give you a divine moment. Oh, church, many of y'all remember, and then some of you are not here, when Pastor Darren Williams and Sister Vanessa were here, on one Sunday morning, he had to literally carry his wife, Sister Vanessa, into this building. For over a month, she couldn't walk. Pain in her legs. Pain in her feet. But she was determined to come to church that Sunday morning. And on that Sunday morning, I preached a message with the sudden rise up and walk. I talked about the lame man that had been healed by Jesus. When I got through preaching, there was a divine moment because Sister Vanessa heard the word. I was 
the vessel that God used to deliver the word. She accepted the word. She believed the word. And although she came in, couldn't walk, her husband had to carry her and put her on the back. Bitch. But when she heard that word, she jumped up and literally ran around the church. The power of the Holy Ghost brought her out of chain. The power of the Holy Ghost brought about healing. God want to heal somebody right now. He's a healer of all infirmities and all diseases. He's able to heal you right now. Not just from your physical ailments, but he wants to heal somebody's mind. Somebody's mind. You are troubled. You are anxious. You're having anxiety attacks. You don't know what to do. And you're living in misery. But God told me to tell you right now. He want to heal your mind. He want to lift your burden. He want to bring you're out of your darkness, out of your dark places, out of the times that you have to cry. He knows how to dry every tear. He knows how to give you joy. He knows how to bring happiness upon you. Yeah! Get the shot in your head. Somebody lift your hand. Lift your hand right now. And say, God. Come on, say, God. I need a divine moment. God. I need a touch from you. God. I need a breakthrough. Give me a breakthrough. Give me a breakthrough. Let me have peace. Peace in my mind. Peace in my soul. Lord, I need you. I need you right now. Yeah. Shout yeah. I'm going to stop right there. I'm not through, but I'm going to stop right there. And I'm going to do what God told me to do. If you know you need deliverance, don't wait on nobody. Don't look around, but come to the altar right now. Now, get up, get up, right now, the Spirit of the Lord is here, right now, the Holy Ghost want to touch, right now, he want to restore somebody, when, right now, he want to deliver somebody, when, right now. He want to heal somebody. When? Right now. Lift your hand and say, Lord, I need a divine moment. Come on, tell him I need. I need your touch. Lord, come on and cry to him, Lord. I'm at the altar. I'm at the altar to receive my breakthrough. I'm at the altar to receive my healing. I'm at the altar for you to touch my mind. I'm at the altar, Lord, for my victory. Victory belongs to you. I say victory belongs to you. And if it belongs to you, it belongs to me. Now clap your hands and begin to pray. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Praise them right now. Praise them. Come on, praise them. Now listen to me. Listen to me. I've already prayed the prayer of faith. Hallelujah. 
And I know we like we like for the preacher to lay hand. I'm gonna lay hand. But you got to believe the word. I said you got to believe the word. Hallelujah. I lay hand. I want you to remain prayerful. Hey, Allah, the Spirit of the Lord is here now. Lord, I know you came yes, in this Lord. message. Yes. And I couldn't even preach it the way yes, I wrote it in my notes. I had to preach it the way he Thank wanted me to preach it. But I know, oh God, oh God. Oh God. I know you want to give us a divine Lord, I know you want to do something special. On this altar now, let the people be blessed, Lord. Let them go home with another Lord. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say the name of Jesus. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, I'm looking to you. I'm looking to you to touch. I'm looking to you to restore. Touch now, touch now, touch now, Lord. Touch now, lift it, Lord, lift it, lift it, Lord, lift it, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Tell him, yes, Lord. Tell him, yes, Lord. God, we need your help on the altar. Come on, say, I'm on the altar. And I need your touch. I'm on the altar. And I need your blessing. Open the door, God. Open the door. Give him a release, Lord. A release, Lord. From the trouble that the enemy is trying to bring upon him. I stand with him, Lord. And believe for the miracle. I stand with him, Lord. And I believe he's going to work it out. You're going to solve the crisis. Glory to your name. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Touch her now. She's seeking you, Lord. At the altar. Lord, I want you to make yourself known to her. Touch her, Lord. Deliver her, Lord. Oh, Lord. Let her have. A relationship with you that's ever growing. But oh God, I pray for healing. The healing of our body. Thank you, Jesus. I preach about your healing. God, I want you to show yourself strong. Let this young lady know that your word is true. And that I'm your man, sir. God heal. God deliver. Make the devil take his hands off. The blood of Jesus is against you now, devil. I command you to take your hands off. The, the, the stripes that were put on the back of Jesus. Ah, Lord, I'm looking for healing. I'm looking for deliverance. Help, Lord. Help us now, Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, God. Give her what she needs. She's seeking you now, God. For your touch. And for your deliverance. Help, Lord. Somebody say, help, Lord. I need your help. I need your deliverance. Yes. Look on these young people. They hand on the Lord. Touch him, oh God. Oh God. Touch his mind. Lift him up, Lord. This shall be the Lord. Help her now, Lord. In time, she feel alone. She feels disgusted. Lord, she hadn't told me anything. But I sense it in my spirit. Touch her now, God. Touch her mind, Lord. Let her know she's loved. Let her know we love her. Let her know the church love her. Let her know you love her. Help, Lord. Help, help, Lord. God, we need help. Oh, Bahia. Need the Bahia. We need help, Lord. Tell them to help me. Don't attend him, help me. Come on, let me hear you say, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Why don't everybody cry, help me, Jesus. 
and said, tell him, help me, Jesus. I, I need your help. I, I need help, Lord. I, I can't do it by myself. I, every time I try, I, every time I try to do it, I, every time I try to fix my problem, I, every, try, I, every time I try to do that, I, I found myself in the same rut. I, but, oh, God, I'm seeking you. I, I'm seeking you for deliverance. I, I'm seeking you, Lord, I, to touch my heart. I, I'm seeking you, Lord, I, to touch Touch my mind. Help me, Lord. Tell the daughter, help me. Help me, Lord. I need help, God. I need help. Fix it, Lord. Fix it now. In the name of Jesus, just let your spirit overshadow, overflow her from the top of her head down to her feet. Let deliverance her in the name of Jesus. Help, Lord. Everybody tell him, help me, Jesus. Everybody tell him, help me, Jesus. We need help. Say for y'all, help me to pray. And say, we need help. We need help, Lord. We need help, Lord. Touch, Lord. Touch her now. Oh, Jesus. Roll back the darkness that's in our life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let it be so, Lord. Give her a breakthrough. Let it be an amazing breakthrough. Turn things around. Turn it around, Lord. Let her see a difference. Let her know it's a difference. Lord, let it be so. From this day on. Let something happen in her life. Thank you, Jesus. We bind the devil who has plotted against her. We bind the devil now. Lord, who want to steal what you have of her. Oh, God. Fix it, God. Fix it, Lord. And let her rejoice in you. Let her praise and magnify you. For what you're going to do. In the name of Jesus. God, I believe. Will somebody help me say, I believe, Lord? Oh. Somebody say, I believe, Lord. Hey, Baba Haya. Somebody help me if I said, I believe, Lord. I'm looking at you, God. My hope is in you. Tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. We bless your name. We praise you, God. We look to you, God. I help her. I deliver her. Move, Lord. Move upon her. Anoint her, God. For the task you've given her. Let her go forth, oh God. In the name of Jesus. I lay hands on her, God. For you to bless. I lay hands on her, God. For you to give. Give her what she needs. In the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. We have gifted here. He has many gifts and talents, Lord. And the enemy does not want him to share them. So often, Lord, when you give us those gifts that will benefit the kingdom and benefit the church, that's where the enemy strikes the more. That's where the enemy attacks the more. He wants to stop what you have given him. Lord, I want you to help him. Help him. Lord, help him to go forward, help him to go forward in you, help him Lord, to do what you have called him to do there's a calling upon him Lord let him hear it Lord let him receive it yes Lord yes Lord oh God, how are you going to do it, set it free Lord, set it free Lord, set it free Lord, the darkness that has invaded his life. Make the devil take his hands off. The blood of Jesus will be here. Somebody tell him thank you. Somebody tell him thank you. Oh Lord, give us a divine moment. Oh Lord, let the Holy Ghost move in this house. Let it move, Lord, upon these children. They sing. 
more and felt more than what they ought to be able to feel. Touch, Lord, and heal. Heal the sick body. God, I want you to heal this child. I want you to deliver her. By your stripes, we are healed. She lived in her arms of She lived in her arms of Lord. Yes, Lord. Help her, Lord. I know she sent something here. She, she doesn't understand everything, but she sent something here, Lord. Help her, Lord. Help her, Lord. Help these children. Bless their home, Lord. Oh God, turn it around, turn it around, Lord. You know all about it. I don't know just what has happened, but you know, Lord. You know how to fix it. You know how to deliver. Jesus. Jesus. Help her, Lord. Help her, Lord. Give us strength. Give us strength, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Lay your hand on her, God. Lay your hand on her, God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you. Let the go forward. You're deliverance now. You're deliverance. You're deliverance. God, work it out. Work it out. Strengthen the body, Lord. Strengthen the body, Lord. When she go back to the doctor, huh? let her get a good report. Huh? But not only, Lord, for a physical body, huh? the things that are on her mind, huh? the things that are stressing her out, Lord. Huh? Situations, Lord, in her family huh? that she has not told anybody anything about. Huh? God, give her deliverance. Set free, set free. Set free, set free. Set free. The devil is alive. You torment her. Set free. Take your hands off. Take your hands off. The blood of Jesus against you now. This is your servant, Lord. She's afraid. She's afraid. She's afraid. We need a divine moment here, Lord. We need your deliverance here. Jesus. 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 Set her free. 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 Tell it thank you, somebody. Tell it thank you. Somebody tell it thank you. Y'all rejoice with a couple. Tell God thank you. Tell the Lord thank you. Tell the Lord thank you. Jump to the Lord. And bless Lord. Give a joy that is needed. She's favored to this church. But Lord, there's some needs here. There's some things she needs from you. I pray God give her turn. I, I pray, Lord, that she draw closer to you. I, I pray, Lord, that you will reveal yourself I, in the manner that you do. I, God, you're able. I, look on my brother. I, bless it, Lord. I, and touch it, Lord. I, open it understanding. I, give him strength, Lord. I, strength to walk with you. I, strength, Lord. I, to go on in your name. Uh, help him, Lord. Uh, help him, Lord. Uh, you know how to help him. Uh, you know what to do. Uh, you know how to do. Uh, why don't everybody lift your hands and say, Lord, have your way. Y'all give me a few more minutes to pray. Come on, lift your hand, everybody. Check the Lord, have your way. Uh, give me a few more minutes because God is doing something on this altar. Uh, God is delivering. I can't do but you can do it, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. I read in your word, oh, Lord, how you heal and deliver those, oh, God, that had certain conditions. You delivered them. You delivered them, Lord. And you're the same, God, now that you were back then. Let it be so. Touch this young lady. Oh God, this burden. Thank you, Jesus. There's a sadness and grief that has prevailed in her life. It's not her fault, Lord. Hallelujah. The devil is a lie. The devil's a tormentor. He comes to torment. He torments the mind. The mind is now. We bind you, Satan. We bind you now. Take your hands off of it. Take your hands off. I command you now to come out of here. I command you now to come out of here. Loose yourself. Loose here. 
the blood of Jesus in this year. Lord, set her free. Set her free, Lord. Set her free, Lord. She's in the right place, Lord. At the right time. We need a divine moment here, Lord. Fix it, Lord. Fix it, Lord. I pray for a deliverance. I pray that you make a hole. I pray that you make a hole in a mind, Lord. In a soul. Lift your hand and say, help me, Lord. Everybody tell him, help me, Lord. These young men on the altar, stand it, Lord, with their grandmother. Bless them, Lord. And touch them, Lord. The enemy has destroyed so many of our young black men. I pray, God, your shield upon them. I pray that you keep them, Lord. I pray, Lord, that the word penetrate, that it penetrate his heart, that he will say yes, Lord, that he will surrender to you, surrender to your will, surrender to your way. Lord, let it be so. I'm going to help him to lift his hands. Oh, God. And as I help him to lift his hand, I want you to work a wonder here, God. Work the wonder, Lord. Work the wonder, Lord. My Savior, my deliverer. Hey, Allah, my Bahia. Help, Lord. Brother Tennant, help me. You may not never really pray before, but Tennant, help me, Lord. Jesus, help. Jesus, help. I know you can, Lord. I know you're able, God. Break it, 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 oh my Let it be so, Lord. And bless the brother. Strengthen the Lord. Let it have joy in you. Let it have peace and peace of mind. Let it depend on you. Let it be strengthened in the fact that you're here now to change the condition that she's been praying for. In the name of Jesus, touch of God. Lay your hand on the mouth. Your hand of deliverance. Your hand to heal. You are my healer. Somebody say, Lord, you are my healer. You are my deliverer. Whatever he needs, whatever the situation may be, touch right now. Make yourself known in your own way. You know how to do it. Lord, whatever, whatever, whatever. He came to the altar of prayer. Help, Lord. And touch, Lord. Touch his wife. Lay your hand on it, God. Your hand of deliverance. Your hand, Lord. To bring about victory. Victory belongs to you. And if victory belongs to you, I claim it now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, don't let it be the same. Lord, don't let it be the same. From henceforth and ever. Jesus. I will deliver our healer, our healer, oh my higher. Oh my higher. Oh God. I speak deliverance here. Jesus. Hey, oh my. Deliver, Lord. Deliver. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Everybody tell him thank you. Everybody tell him thank you. Everybody tell him thank, thank you. Look on this young man and touch him, oh God. Lord, I sense. I sense within him, Lord, that he's seeking you, Lord. I have not had the pleasure of meeting the Lord. But there is something here that you need. My God. And he's seeking, he's seeking, he's searching for something. And it is you, Lord. Touch him now, Lord. Touch him now, Lord. Whatever it is, oh God. Sit on your help. Sit on your peace. Let it be delivered. And oh God, let him know he's delivered. Fix it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want y'all to help him. Say, Lord, 
I need deliverance. <clears throat> Come on, young man, say it with everybody. Lord, I need deliverance. <clears throat> and I'm seeking you now. I'm looking to you for your help. I'm looking to you for deliverance. He's here, Lord. On this altar, I lay hands on him, God. I lay hands on him. And as I lay hands on him, oh God, lay your hands on him. And deliver, Lord. Make him whole, God. Fix it now. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Lord. Fix it. Jesus, my Savior. Jesus, my deliverer. Come on in now. Come on in now. Come on in now. Oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God. Come on in now. Regulate the mind, come on. Ima Bahaya. Anxiety is here. Oh Jesus. Fix it, Lord. God, you're able. You know how to heal. You know how to deliver this young man. Hallelujah. Don't let it be the same. Jesus, I heal. Jesus, I deliver. Make a hole. Make a hole. She doesn't have to be in the shape, in the shape she's in. Thank you, Jesus. This daughter, oh God. My God, let her have, let her experience victory in you. The issues and problems she deals with, the hurt that is here, God. You are a healer of broken hearts. You know how to take away the misery. You know how to take away the chaos and the darkness that's trying to prevail. Satan, I buy you. You demon that took torments. They speak lies. They try to tear down. I bind you now. Take your hands off here. Say it unto the Lord. Rebuke you now. Take your hands off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I speak peace. Oh God, I speak peace here. I'm your servant. I'm your servant. I speak. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody tell him yes, Lord. Somebody tell him yes, Lord. Peace, Lord. Peace of the mind. Peace, Lord. Down in the soul. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. How did your old sage remember that we can call on the name of Jesus? Oh, Jesus. Say for y'all, help me to call. That, that, that's just where the Lord get it. Oh, Jesus. Just give me a moment. Oh, Jesus. 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 Do it now, Lord. Let peace abide. Heal, Lord. We need your healing now. We need your deliverance. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. And bless, Lord. Touch him now. Hallelujah. Come on, both of y'all lift your hands. Bless them now, Lord. And touch, Lord. I want you to bless this young man. You see every need in his life. You know all about it, God. You know what he's seeking for, Lord. Bless him, oh God. Every time he comes to the altar, Lord, let him go back another way. Let him go back better, Lord. Oh God. Let him walk in peace. Let him have joy. Help him understand your word. Help him Understand who you are. Touch his mother here, Lord. Who's standing with him today. Oh, God. Bless her the more, God. She's been coming to church, Lord. She's been faithful, Lord. Open doors 
and bless us now, Lord. Release this divine moment upon our life now. In the name of Jesus, tell it thank you. Tell God thank you. Everybody tell God thank you. Everybody tell it thank you. Lay your hand on now, God. Whatever it is in our life, you're healing, you're delivering. Oh God, your presence is healed. And to, to deliver is healed. The Holy Ghost is here now. Touch now and heal and deliver. Bless the Lord. I lay hands on her, God. She's on the altar, oh God. And on whatever she's sitting for. Pray to her, Lord. And bless her, Lord. And touch her, Lord. Oh God, overshadow. Overshadow now. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. I'm almost finished, y'all. I'm almost finished. Sometimes after preaching, I have to minister. Lay your hand on them, God. We lay hands on them last Sunday. And I do it again. God, I believe. Yes, that you're going to restore them. Yes, yes, yes. Restore them. Yes, yes, it does not matter of the age. Yes, you heal and you deliver. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus, yes, strengthen the body. Yes, strengthen the body. Yes, Don't let it be feeble. Yes, Don't let it be sickly. Yes, oh God, oh God, let you go forth. Jesus, I see. Yes, Lord. Lord, she's in the right place at the yes, right time. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Pray the word about the divine moment. Let this divine moment be here now. In the name of Jesus, strengthen your people here, Lord, and touch, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. When we go to our seats, because I said sometimes I, I have to take a little time. I try not to hold you so long. Hallelujah. I got that message. It got longer and longer. Couldn't really follow it up. The Lord would give me things that I was preaching. We prayed the prayer thing. We've been praying for a while. You know what the Lord said now? Just a few moments. But we're going to get ready to hear the announcement. We're going to be ready to move on. But just for a few moments. If you believe God. If you believe the word. I want y'all to rejoice. And I ain't talking about no little pity. I ain't talking about this. You know, so good. Give him great praise. He's greatly to be praised. He's greatly to be praised. He's greatly. Come on. Do better than that. Do better than that. Do better than that. Do better. Do better than that. God, I hold our hand as we praise him. Y'all praise him. Come on. I need to hear y'all praise him. I need to hear y'all, Lord, as we walk, and the saints praise you, every step she made, I want you to bless her, every step she made, I want her to, oh God, to acknowledge you, and to believe that it is well, it is well, do you believe it is well, do you believe it is well, it is well, every step we make, it is well. We're walking, Lord. Walking, Lord. By feet. And then we're literally walking. We're leaving you, Lord. For release in your spirit. I praise you now for what you're doing. I praise you now for your delivering power. I praise you now for the victory. That's right. Tell it, thank you. Tell it, thank you. Everybody tell it thank you. Everybody tell it thank you. Everybody tell it thank you. Everybody tell God thank you. Hallelujah. You can return to your seats. Go back, give a God the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all give me a moment. First lady said, go and anoint our son because he doesn't get a chance to come down all the time. Lord, I pray for her that you would touch, that you are blessed, Lord. Even on this new job, help him, oh God. Help him to make decisions that got to be made. 
In the name of Jesus, be with him, Lord. Hallelujah. Let him walk, oh God, in your path. Let him do, Lord. Oh God, what you have told him. I know you talked to him. I know you've been talking to him, Lord. Let him walk, oh God, according to what you have said. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Hasn't the Spirit of God visited us today? How many of you all know that the presence of the Lord is in this room? Before I go further, I'm getting ready to have the announcer to come make the announcements. I'm getting ready to go home. Hallelujah. I have to ask the question because if I don't ask it, I won't know. But if there's a person here who, who wants to be a member of the church, we would be so grateful. God bless you, Brother Preacher. Yes, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Brother Preacher have to do it his way. Amen. <laughs> hey, he, he's faithful. He's so glad you can take this off of me. Uh, he's been a little sick. We were missing him. We were trying to find him. We found him. He's hiding back. God has blessed him. God has touched him. Amen. But if you'd like to be a member of the church, hey amen. We don't try to force anybody at all. I want you to make your own matter, but I wouldn't know unless I actually you indicated that. And so if you'd like to be a member of the church, just sit the raise your hand and we will just take a moment to receive you officially into the church here. Amen. amen. All right, the Lord bless. What? The children, all right. Come on, come on, children, come on. Come on. Amen. We take the children in. She's been, she's been coming with this group all along. It's one of your granddaughters. What's your name? Valerie. You want to be a member of yours? Well, I accept you as a full family member. Be a little bit of that. Y'all say amen, though. You come to church, all right? Right, when you come, when you want to shake past the head, so I have the trouble remembering names, so, but I'm going to try my best to remember your name. So glad for you. Y'all give another hand. Thank God for the cheer. All right, the announcements. Good afternoon. On the fourth Sunday of this month, Pastor Riley will be the guest speaker at the Galilee Church of God of Christ in Hollandale, Mississippi with Pastor Milton Bale. The praise team is on the program to sing. Pastor Riley would like for the church to join him there on that day. And the program begins at 2.30 p.m. Our weekly services are as follows. Every Monday, we have our praise and worship beginning at 5.30 p.m. Wednesdays, we have prayer and Bible study beginning at 5.30 p.m. And on, morning, on Thursday mornings, we have prayer beginning at 6.30 a.m. All right. Also, uh, please remember we have our baptism service. Um, it will be on next Sunday during our regular church service. Sister Riley will like to meet with everyone who is scheduled to be baptized immediately after service in the choir stand. Also, Sister Fox would like to remind you that First, day, first Lady Day is approaching, which is next month. Thank you. Let's say amen. amen. All right. Hope you heard all of the announcements. Uh, that date that I'm supposed to be with Pastor Bell, it would be uh, the fourth Sunday. He saw me yesterday. He said, bring the church. I said, I'm going to try my best. He wants you all to come down to Hollandale and, and uh, share with them on that Sunday evening. He's part of our district, so I hope that you will go with us. Come on to church for the week and say, listen, we've had some great church here Monday night. We were in prayer, and the Lord just blessed us for ministry. Oh, yeah, we had a lovely time. And on Wednesday night, we had a real live revival discussion. We sure did. It was good. It was good. So come on, be blessed in the weekly services. Next Sunday, service going to be a little different. And we yet going to praise God. We're going to have Satan. It will be the message. And the message won't be as long because it will be baptism service. So we're going to baptize in the water on next Sunday. And let's invite all, all you candidates who are candidates, invite your family members, invite your friends, 
And let's just have a grand time in the Lord on next Sunday. All right, we're standing together. We're standing together. I want y'all to remember uh, missionary Charles Stephen Harris. Her husband was laid to rest on yesterday. Our dear friend, Pastor Nathan Harris. Amen. Was not an old man, just a few years older than I am. That's right. A few, few years older. You going to hear that for something? What's going on in your family? Yeah. We're praying for that situation. Yeah. Well. All right. That God will bless. But I was saying, let's pray for uh, Missionary Harris and the children, the St. Peter family. Keep them in prayer. And others. There are some people who are sick and not here today because of sickness. And then there are some who are out of town. So those persons out of town, let's pray that God will give them a safe return back to Greenville. God in heaven, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. None that belongs to you. I pray now, God, that as we get ready to go home, that you take us as safely and bring us back at the appointed hour. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Amen.